okay dear students so <clears throat> let us start doing this question an object of constant mass is tied to the end of a rope of length l and made to move in a horizontal circle uh, the speed of the object is increased until the rope breaks at the speed v the length of the rope is then changed at what other combination of the rope length and the speed will the rope breaks okay fine no problem so let us see <clears throat> that according to question there is a, there is a rope and there is a stone or a bob or a mass that is tied at the end of the rope and this rope is given a rotation like this so when it rotates like this uh, there is a force counter force which is mv square by r that is acting this force is known as centrifugal force okay and it is written as cf this is the centrifugal force which is basically the a reactionary force uh, in regards to centripetal force centripetal force is towards the center and it is written as fc so this is into the uh, it is towards the center but the centrifugal force is uh, opposite to it and it is away from the center but because they are action reaction pair the magnitude is equal and it is given by mv square by r so this is centrifugal force now in the case number 1 the mass is m and the length of the rope is l so the radius will be l so it will be given by mv square by l and at the speed v the rope breaks it means this much of the centrifugal force which is like uh, giving the tension to the string which is uh, pulling the string which is pulling the body outside <clears throat> is equal to the breaking strength of the string so if the force centrifugal force is equal to this the string breaks now from this place we can just find the breaking strength of the rope and that should be equal to this so this will be the breaking strength but now in what other combination the breaking strength uh, will be breached so we have to find that so uh, we have to see the combination here and uh, we will see what is the centrifugal force in all of these cases and wherever it is coming out to be equal to this the rope will break so let us say the rope length is double it is uh, quadruple like it's multiplied by 4 and the velocity is doubled here so v square so this 2 will become 4 times and 4 will and 4 will cancel each other so definitely in the first case itself and yes the answer is a in the first case itself the centrifugal force is coming out to be equal to the uh, mv square by l so in the case a the same centrifugal force is acting which is equal to the breaking strength and that is why the rope will break in the case of a also it can be shown like this also that fcf in the case of let us say a it will be m 2v square divided by 4l so this square and 4 will get cancel and these two forces are coming out to be equal to each other so uh this is the point where the rope will break so with this all the best bye